Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Aries, you know the drill, general energy check. Not going to resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you find this reading does not hit home in any way, shape, or form, that's cool. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading and you can get answers for your own unique situation. All that information and more is located in the description box. And how could I continue without thanking? Taking a moment to thank all of you who continue to support the channel, uh, your good karma donations showing up to the lives, uh, just commenting, leaving likes, sharing that um, energetic love, love it, love it. Uh, for your personal bookings, those of you who hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic way, Aries, thank you so very much. Cards have already been shuffled and drawn, and we will clarify together. So for your energy, you have four of wands, Five of Cups in Reverse, and Knight of Pentacles. So I'm looking into your energy, and we're going to look into the energy of someone that is within your energy, energetically stalking you, whatever, you know, you know your situation. Also, this may be um, vice versa, you know, so I may be saying it's you, and it's the other energy, or I'm saying that the other energy is that, and it's you, so put the energy where it goes, okay? Now, for your energy, we have Four of Wands. Spirit, please clarify Four of Wands. There's something here about... Hmm. Aries, you are in this energy of being committed to focusing. It could be focusing on your home life, focusing on rebuilding a home, focusing on just the things that are important. Uh, to bring important to bring in balance in your life. Some of you, you could have moved and you are you you are redecorating, doing interior design. Mm -hmm. Someone is looking into feng shui, setting up their home uh, according to feng, feng shui principles to bring more balance into your life or balance the energy in your home. Or something you recognize now, like you're seeing the truth of somebody realizes that they need to just focus on their home, their home life, the relationship that they're building with someone. This could be a twin flame situation. Doesn't have to be, though, but it is here. Mm -hmm. Someone's learned a lesson, a real valuable lesson, like they're exercising wisdom now. They've learned from the mistakes of the past. And that's why they are so focused and committed on uh, their home or building something or a relationship. Uh, someone's learned from not being loyal or what happens when they allow people in their life who are not loyal. Learning from your mistakes. Someone has recognized, uh, Aries, I feel like you've recognized the importance of having someone in your life who is loyal and who is uh, serious about life, you know? Like they're serious about a relationship. This is someone who's grounded and they know what they want and they can provide for a family or they're ready for a real relationship there's something here too about you not having any regrets about anything anymore so please clarify five of cups in reverse mm -hmm. Aries I feel like you've gotten over Someone that you thought made you happy, right? Uh, you there may have been a time where you have felt you felt a lot of regret about someone being on their worst behavior. Or for some of you, Aries, this is you you being on your worst behavior with somebody. You know, not feeling really good or stable or secure within yourself, or or secure or stable within a relationship with someone. Mm -hmm. Someone who could have played games with you. Spirit, can I get one more, please? Yes. So it's like you were with someone who made you happy or you looked at as wish fulfillment. A lot of good memories with this person. 
or created, but there was still something that you just, you didn't feel good about. This person could have cheated on you in the past or would have a tendency to do that sometimes or just act out of pocket or do something real disrespectful or just do something that just wasn't, it didn't make you feel good inside. It didn't make you feel good about the relationship. So please clarify Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like you're questioning. It's like you're building something new or you're planting seeds. You're learning how to, something with your finances as well. Someone is saving to buy a home. Mm -hmm. And you want to be with someone who has the, the resources to do that. And I'm hearing the, the meant, like the clarity, like they want. That's their vision. They want to do something like that. Like that's important to them. It's an important goal to own property or something. Mm -hmm. Aries, I feel like you're in this energy of questioning people's motives, right? Yeah. It's recognizing things and seeing them for what they are. This is no, no more about being um, all up in your heart for things. This is learning how to make head over heart decisions. I feel like you are learning how to do that. Mm hmm Yeah, because you could have gotten conned or been lied to. It's like recognizing when someone is deceiving you, using your discernment, using your discretion, questioning people's motives. I feel like you're learning how to be more logical with stuff instead of running especially with in a situation with somebody instead of leading with your heart now you use your head spirit please clarify ten of wands so on this side of the table is the energy that you're dealing with but put the energy where it goes you have ten of swords here you have the moon in reverse and you have the hermit in reverse so Sure, please clarify Ten of Swords. Something is done, like a cycle is over, a chapter is done. Sure, please clarify Ten of Swords. And someone is, is it's like they realize that. Mm -hmm, look at this, Two of Water. Someone knows. They're aware of the shit that they did, that they would play games, that they weren't serious, they were commitmentful, they were for the streets, they lied to you, they cheated you, they, they cheated on you and cheated you. Mm -hmm. Someone stole money from you, Aries, or they would borrow money knowing full well they weren't going to pay your ass back. You were like their personal cash app. They know what they did, that they weren't really trying to move forward with you. Yeah. They just wanted you to think that they were. Yeah, this is, this person though, they feel, they feel connected. This is so weird. This person, they feel connected to you. They feel like they could do the right thing. They just did it. This person could have came off like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde to you, right? Or, or had multiple personality disorder or something. Borderline personality. Someone was bipolar, like. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify the moon in reverse. Because it's like they know they could have done better by you, but they didn't. And ten of so they knew what they were doing. This is not someone who wasn't aware. You have a choice. Yes. This is also someone though who is um it's the moon, the moon in reverse. So they're recognizing that they need to let something go. Mm-hmm. Let something go, right? Because they, they have no faith in it. Ooh. Okay, and let me show you this. You have queen. This is twin flamey. That's why you had four of wands. I was just, that's what I was feeling. Twin flamey. This is queen of air. 
And then you have king of air. Okay, so this is the pair. There you are, divine masculine, divine feminine, for those of you this resonates with. But this is a this is a soulmate. This is an energetic match. This person, they're an energetic match to you. It's like seeing the truth of something. This person, though, they feel like there, there's something about not being confident, not having faith. It's like they know that they need to let it go. Yeah, Ten of Swords. This is over with you. A chapter, a cycle is over, and they realize that, right? Because they don't really have any faith that things would... Um, you may not be talking to this person at all, Aries, right? And this person may feel like you, you may never speak to them again. So we have to clarify the Herbert in reverse. Mm -hmm. Someone's learned something. This energy you're dealing with, they're... They're going to come out of hermit mode, Aries. Yeah. You you may not be speaking to this person at all, but someone's going to reach out. Mm -hmm. Spirit, can I get one, for, one more for the moon in reverse? Because I feel like this person is going to reach out to talk to you. Either, either is it for closure? Mm -hmm. Yes. So look. Thought. This person's been thinking about you. They want to reach out to, to talk to you about why things didn't uh, move forward. It's really more of, they may come and tell you about their insecurities that they had within themselves or how they didn't feel confident within themselves or they didn't feel like they could master something or they were very good at something. Mm -hmm. So for some of you, this, this energy feels like they're just not good at a relationship. Like they just don't know how to do it. But they want to come out of this whatever isolation mode that they're, they're in, retreat mode, not speaking to anybody, not speaking to you, because they recognize in this time that they've had to themselves how unique, uh, how different, how someone is really very unique. Mm -hmm. I'm very healing as well. Aries, I feel like this person has had time to go over what they've done. Uh, they've learned some karmic lessons. This is also about a cycle being over a, an, an old way of doing and being, right? Someone may have recognized that they need to let go of not having any faith that things will change or that they're not good enough or or the way how they think about themselves or where, the way how they approach life. Someone, I feel like this energy kind of had, it's not a chip on their shoulder, but a very jaded view or narrow perspective on relationships. Like, oh, uh, it's like niggas ain't shit, <laughs> right? Or these hoes ain't loyal. They're, someone's always going to cheat on you, so it's it's good to have another person in the background. Or Even though they felt a connection to you or they feel a connection to you, they still have this, this inner belief system, um, way of being, way of doing. Spirit, please clarify. Can I get some more for the hermit in reverse? Can I get some more for the hermit? Someone knows that you were a lesson, right? They look at you like you taught them a lesson. They learned a big lesson. And they are now starting to, they're learning how to see the bigger picture of their life. Because this is someone who would go around doing shit to people, not recognizing or taking into consideration the consequences of their actions, or even being accountable for their actions. So now they're realizing it, it's time to, the reason why Aries doesn't talk to me is because of the things that I did to Aries. I should stop doing stuff like that. Especially if I say that I care about somebody. Mm -hmm. They want to bring balance. Someone is coming towards you. They, they feel like they need to come towards you to explain something. It could be explain how much you changed them, how much you've changed their perspective. This is also though who, someone who feels like um, you guys could be something, 
as unique as you are, and as you may be the exact opposite of this person, this could be an interracial relationship as well. It's like, it doesn't matter, despite your uniqueness and your differences, you could still work together. Because this person wants to put an end to this energy of not moving forward because they were on some in and out, I'm for the streets energy or I'm a commitment for, I'm not really serious. I'm not trying to take this relationship to the next level. Someone wants to bring that into balance because they're starting to look at the bigger picture of their life. Do I want to be like this for the rest of my life? Do I want to live like this? So Aries, this person is coming out. They're coming out of hi hiding. <laughs> hiding. Coming out of hermit mode. And they learned a few things, right? Yeah. They know that a karmic cycle is over. They cannot come to you the way how they came to you before. They couldn't come, they can't come in that energy. They can't say the same things. They can't even think the same way to come towards you. They know that. Spirit, any more messages? Oh, okay, okay. Finally, for the, for the first four readings, I've just been getting the same decks, and I'll spread, Spirit's finally like, use this one. Any more messages, sir? Ooh, okay, okay. Look at this. <laughs> They're coming towards you, Aries, but you've got eight of wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. They're coming towards you, but you ain't going towards them. <laughs> right? Because on this side of the table, I'm feeling like this excitement, like, okay, I get it now. I get it. I'm going to go and talk to Aries and let them know that I recognize that I was on some bullshit. I was on some party and bullshit with them and I was wasting their time. And it's like they get this aha moment and, and they get excited and they want to come towards you. But you're like, bitch, stay away from me with your ten of swords ass. Right? Yeah. It's like, I'm glad that you realize that. But what the fuck does that have to do with me? I don't care. Look at this. You got eight of wands in reverse. I don't care to come to, I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear from you nothing. Okay. I let this go. It was really hard for me to let you go, but I let you go. Mm -hmm. Aries, I feel like you don't give a shit <laughs> what anybody, what kind of aha moment, moment anyone had or what kind of fucking epiphany anyone had. Zero fucks given. You, no, you don't care. Not, not, you're not interested. Like, you're just not interested. You walked away from this person. Yes, you did. And I get it. Ten of Swords, yeah, that's a big deal. Things, shit has to change after a Ten of Swords. That's a, see, a whole season. Mm -hmm. Eight, ten, hmm, years. Here is, you said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what kind of enlightenment or epiphany moment your ass got stay the fuck away from me mm -hmm. wow and this is that ten of swords energy this is done i do not care for you because mm -hmm. a lot of you you're in this energy of you know what you want for a relationship you know what kind of home life you want you know what kind of family structure you want you know what kind of commitment you want Mm -hmm. you're not into nobody who's not serious about life or not ready for no real relationship no 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 no. you learned that you know you learned you know better mm -hmm. wow so uh, good for them but sucks to be them <laughs> is, that, is that it is that it aries any more messages spirit like what is going on any more messages okay What would you like to let Aries know? As a matter of fact, spirit, well, let's, I'm getting a little bit curious. What would the outcome be? What's the outcome? Right? Because I know what Aries energy is, is uh, now. <laughs> so what's the outcome? Look at this. Let's see. Let's see. Broken heart in reverse. Broken heart in reverse, right? Like I said, okay? Your your energy is true to uh, what spirit is saying, right? It matches. You're over this. You're over them. You're really happy that they got their aha moment, but you really don't give a shit, <laughs> right? You're, you're healed from this. Mm -hmm. You're not in regret over this stuff anymore. No. Okay. 
Good for you, Aries. I like that. So can I get one last card? I just want to pull one card of practical guidance and advice. Uh, this is the, the right now. What, what can you do right now? Emotional release. Release stored emotions now in order to improve your health. That's what this is, okay? Healing from heartbreak. That's what this is. This is confirmation right here. Let me see this. You got the, what is it? The five of cups. Five of cups in reverse. This is letting go of being in regret, being, having resentment, being angry, being bitter. It's first like, let go of all of that now. Okay, that time's over. This will greatly improve your health, reduce excessive long-term stress immediately. Some of you, you have been stuck on this for so long. Spirit's like, no, it's time to get into the energy of freeing up yourself and being okay with things and accepting things and moving on with your life. Okay, because this causes stress. Identify unhealed trauma that may be causing physical harm to your body. Someone, you get tension headaches. Yeah, you think about things, they stress you out. If someone gets is it anxiety or panic attacks, stay in the present. That's what spirit wants you to do. Spirit, stay in the present. Don't wander back to the past or think too far ahead in the future. Just be right here, right now. Mm -hmm. Identify unhealed trauma. So for some of you, spirit may be asking you to get or guiding you to go and get uh, counseling, spiritual counseling, therapy, to speak about issues, uh, things that you've been suppressing so that you can get to the root of uh, things that are going on within you, uh, the root of why a certain energy is blocked or a chakra is blocked or whatever is blocked, okay? Energy that is blocked, that is manifesting in your uh, physical world. Someone you have really bad back pain, you're taking on too much stress energetically, you're taking on everybody's stuff and it doesn't belong to you. And so spirits like it's time for you to learn how to release that release stored emotions channel your emotions into a creative project or physical activity today this is that knight of pentacles learning okay um putting it into something else uh, all this uh, pent up anger and aggression and and just put it take that same energy and put it into creating something better for yourself a better life a better a better now for yourself okay Spirit wants you to face issues as they arise rather than avoiding them. Mm -hmm. Aries, no more leaving things and letting, because Ten of Swords is forgiving someone. Uh, maybe putting the wool over your own eyes, uh, seeing what you want to see instead of seeing what's actually there, just choosing to be in denial or making excuses for people. That's Ten of Swords, right? You keep letting them come back in and stab you in your back again, Okay. Forgiveness doesn't always mean to reconnect with someone. Forgiveness is for you to release the emotional baggage so you can move forward in your life. That does not mean because you forgive someone that you get back into a relationship with them, especially when someone's been showing you their ass, okay? When people show you who they are, believe them. So that's why spirits like face issues as they arise rather than avoiding them so that you do not experience any ten of swords with anyone anymore. Face things head on. You have an issue with someone? Step to it, okay? Deal with things right away so that they don't pile up. And, and, and you start experiencing the negative emotions of the stress, the anxiety. Mm -mm. Spirit doesn't want that for you. Okay, Aries, this is what I have for you, honeys. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.